Hi, and welcome to DizzyIT.com's informational training session on removing printers from the command line or from a script. My name's Graham Regan, and I'll be taking you through this training session today. Okay, what we're going to talk about today is found on the DizzyIT.com's website, and that's, that's what you see here. And this was done a little while ago, and the if you do a search, you'll find removing print, network printers from command line or script. This document outlines three different ways to do it. And we're going to run through those today and then actually at the end we're going to discuss why this may not be the best way of doing things and what you can do instead. Okay, so looking at the first method, we are going to look at the run DLL command. Now what I've done is I've just pre-staged the commands into some batch files here. Let's have a look at this one. So all you need to do, this is the meat of it, run DLL32, print uh, UI.DLL, you can either have a space or a comma here. I've seen it done both ways. I do believe the correct way is to use a comma. The switch is using a DN and an N. A DN is for removing, and N is to specify a network path. Then you put in the network path of the printers here. Now, something I should have showed you at the start is that I've created four different printers here. Test printer one, two, three, and four. Now, with these, we're going to be removing these, which each each of the scripts that we run. Okay, so just going to close this one. I've got a little folder here full of scripts. Just run a dir on it. Saved as a batch file. Hit run and away we go. Now you could also silent that out by running um, a queue in front of it as well. Now if we come back here you can see printer one is gone just as we would have liked. Okay, so the next method is going to be using a VBS script. I'll be up front, um, I am not a VB guru, I know enough to get my way around, and this is something that I came up with uh, a little while ago to accomplish this sort of task. Coming back to our window, now what we have here, th what you need to know is that you need to define here, however many printers you want to delete, if it's one, two, three, four, you need one of these lines for each one of those printers. Likewise, you then put the path in for each of the printers you need here. Then you add another line for each of the ones that you want to remove down here. So if you have three printers, you'll have three lines, three lines, three lines, four printers, four lines, four lines, four lines, etc., etc. In the example I've done, I have just chosen one, and you can see that I've put in the path to the network printer, and that's all we had to do. Just close that window. I'm going to come back to my little DOS window here. C script. The VBS name, oh, by the way, in case you don't know, you need to run C script to run anything that's VBS. There we go, that should have run. We come back, check the printer window. And yep, printer 2, gone. Just as we thought. Okay, and the third method we're going to use is using a registry key to do it. Now, this actually, to be honest, doesn't really work particularly well, but we'll try it anyway. Um, what I found is the printer tends to keep coming back. Um, it sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't think it's the best way to do it. It actually is a legacy Windows NT4 way of doing things. And if you were in IT back then, you'd be probably quite familiar with it. Um, we'll have a look at it anyway. So what you need to do is have a look in the registry for your printers. You'll find them in here. The path is, let me bring that up a bit for you. Um, HKey, current user, printers, connections, and you'll find the printer here. Easiest way to get it into the script, just go right click and copy key name and you paste it into a batch file or into your DOS window. Um, I've done it as a batch file. So what we have is this one here. I'll show you the batch file. To register delete, HK current users, blah, blah, blah. Forward slash F for force. And then I've done a pause at the end. Okay, operation completed successfully. Come back and have a look at our printers window, which I've closed. Here it is. 
see it still appears here, but if we do a F5, it still appears. This is why it doesn't work very well. To be honest, I'm actually going to remove that from the site. Although I may leave it there in case somebody out there is still living in the 1990s and running Windows NT4. But I've never used it uh, in production successfully. Um, anything post Windows XP. Now, having said all that, this is all good and fine. But there is a much, much, much better way of doing things for any of this. And that is to use group policy uh, preferences to do any printer removes ads and that sort of um, stuff because it's all centralized it's command driven you can run it when the user logs in there's a refresh interval it's really just a much nicer neater way of doing things um, that's not covered here but I'm going to do an up another guide shortly to tell you how to do it um, but if you want to know in the meantime if you just search on Google for group policy preferences printers you'll find plenty of information on how to do it um, so I hope this has been helpful and I'd like to thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, thanks again. Bye.